All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Schubert here once again with Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, it's been a while, but if you remember from my last video, we saved Micah because we kind of had to. And we saved, I can't remember his name, some Irish guy. <laughs> That's how long it's been. I can't remember his name. I do remember the very next part of this uh, mission coming up. There's going to be a bit of a party at the camp, so we're going to run up there and see what's going on. And then I believe, yeah, the icon down there, we got to talk to John Marston. So we're going to give him a little, uh, little bit of a chatter, and we're going to see what's up. Man, I really want to kill that deer, but I think the party starts, like, right away. So you don't get a chance to give Pearson your killings. Oh yeah, I think I was right. As I started to get to camp, the light got a little bit darker and the music started to play, so it sounds like something's about to pop off. One of the things I actually like about uh, GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 is the fact that you don't have to go to the place at a certain time. Like, if you remember back, GTA 3, you'd walk into the little icon to start a mission and it would tell you to come back at like... 3 a.m. or something and it's like can we just scroll ahead so <laughs> it's 3 a.m. but uh in five in gta 5 and then here in red dead it just automatically scans to the time that it has to be uh which i appreciate makes the game a lot more fluid means i don't have to sit here and run around and waste time before uh doing the next mission Let's see what's going to happen up at this party. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say... Oh, he's giving a speech. I know you bastards Arthur. missed me. Oh, Arthur. Yeah. Are you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Mr. Grimshaw, you old crone. So I'll on. keep them girls in line. If I have to I'll rip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. Help. <sighs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. <laughs> It'll be nothing but the, the <laughs> finest no game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun! Have lots of fun! <laughs> I'm sure you will! <coughs> oh, come on, let's so, um... Uh -oh. Okay, the gang's celebrating. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Hey, mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. I'm a little confused as to why Dutch decided to talk to us while McGuire was giving his speech. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater. Like, here. really? Why did. Especially at one point, he addresses me. So it almost seems like there's a goof in the programming or something. Like, I don't know. So we're supposed to go around and party and drink and all this kind of stuff. And Wait. Are you sitting on that or are you squatting on that? I'm confused. <laughs> Look at him on there. <laughs> It's like he's sitting on his knife, and his knife is sitting on the on the uh, log. There's the word. All right, we'll grab ourselves a beer and go hang around. What's going on, Dutch? Put my hand upon her thigh, Mark. Well, what I do say, she says, Good and pretty, and I do a little bit all day. She says, Let's lay down on the grass and do a little bit all day. She says, Let's lay down on the grass and do a little bit all day. Arthur singing, that's funny. Diddle, diddle, diddle all day. 
What do they mean, diddle, diddle, diddle? And what are you doing, Reverend? You shouldn't be drinking. You're a freaking drug addict and everything. You're always bumping into someone. A little more I feel like he wants to talk to me. He keeps, like, running past me and stuff. You know, but there's no icon to talk to him. All right, well, let's see what happens here. I'm going to get it. What do you got over here? No, I don't want that. I want... There's a whiskey. Had a beer. Let's have a whiskey. Arthur, drink it. Jeez, that was fast. Look at me. With the bell of the ball. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Stop it, you. Ooh, we're going to dance with Mary Beth. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> a little bit more of a relaxing episode. Sure, at least so far. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary Beth. So can I guide her? See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Is that what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Oh, well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> okay, is that the only flair that they do, or what? I'm confused here. Oh, no, there's an extra piece. Yeah, spinner in circles. No more dialogue? Does the song just repeat, or what are we doing here? <laughs> All right, I think that's enough dancing for one night. Thank you, Mary Beth. Morgan. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> you like took a weird step backwards. Feels like All right. Well, that's uh, that for that piece of dancing. And uh, I'm going to see what else. What other kind of alcohol? Oh, another whiskey. Where are you guys getting all this whiskey from? You stealing it or what? Let's see what Hosea might have to say. You got something to say, Hosea? No. Mr. Morgan. What? Morgan. Forever. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. <laughs> What keeps happening? And then Hosea comes stumbling up, too. Oh, my goodness. Why, well, howdy, Hosea. How you doing? Let's talk. I'm gonna chug this son bitch. It's going to be the messiest camp scene. <laughs> oh, man, this game. It's been a while. I haven't played it in so long, it feels like. And I apologize for that. It uh, kind of came down to a little bit of bugginess, a little bit of getting distracted by other video games and uh, stuff like that. But you know what? I think I got some time here coming up. I'm going to make some more videos. What you kids all talking about? You just schmoozing the ladies there? That's not Javier, is it? Yeah, I think that's Javier. I can't... See, I, it's been so long, I can't even remember people's names. I... I think this is one of those missions where I basically just have to go to bed and it'll be done. But I kind of want to walk around and just experience more of what the hell they're doing. Bird is never dumb. Mm, no. He sings to please the dear old mother, and she I rewards him with a crumb. Oh, oh I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, and the light, light heart I roam along. Oh, with the light, this light heart I roam along. If I had any clue what kind of songs you were singing, I might sing along with you, but I've never heard any of those songs that they've been jabbering on about. You guys don't want to play a little drunken poker, do you? 
No? Okay, I'm gonna go to bed then. I've had like a bunch of bunch of alcohols. <laughs> we'll uh skip this one ahead here. Take Arthur to bed, get up in the morning, talk to uh Mr. Marston. I ain't gonna shave. Uh let's sleep till the morning. Only four hours? Oh man, he's gonna be tired. Right, there we go. Head on over here and talk to John. I think, yeah, that's where we gotta go. Talk to John over here. Look at everybody all hungover, disheveled, dirty. You're still up and drinking? Over some poles and whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the Bisky, I began to tumble and roar. Can I punch him? It'd be great if I could punch him. Or tell him to shut up. My face was as red as a lobster. Can I tell him to shut up? Arthur. Go away, you lobster. dick. I gotta talk to John. Uh, watch your what do you want? Pick Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> so we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Oh, I think... Well, first of all... <laughs> you're the first guy to get half his brain eaten by... Oh, a mountain lion I'm coming never out drinking again. Yeah, right. That's what you said last time, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, I think I remember doing this mission on the PlayStation 3... Or 4. PlayStation 4. Sorry, not 3. And, uh... Boy, am I not good at it. But we're gonna give it a go here today. Gonna try it out. Um... Shoot, I better make sure I got ammo for all my weapons. Let's see. Well, I don't need arrows because F that for now. Um, okay, I don't need revolver cartridges. And uh, I got nothing else sitting over here. So I must be full? <laughs> no idea. If Miller is a fraud. Is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being so, one of us. Mr. Morgan, what? whatever did happen with that Mary Gill? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. That's for the best. Sure. God, you're nosy. Of course. I never did like her very much. That one reminds me of Pam on Archer. I don't know why. <laughs> Just the blonde. Broad shoulders. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let me make sure I hit the right button to get on my horse so I don't punch it this time. 
give it a little patting. There we go. And then we'll head on off to find this wagon. I think the one thing above all else that I miss about this game is just the beauty of the graphics. I mean, I know in past videos I've complained about controls or, uh, you know, different buggy things here and there, but I mean, just the overall beauty of this game as you're running around here, it feels to me like I'm actually there, even though I'm in the third person, but still, I mean, it feels to me like those are real plants and those are real rocks. It's not, uh, not even the slightly more simplified graphics of GTA V, you know, like, of course there's many years between the games, but gosh, I do like this. I do enjoy this. And, uh, by the way, get ready to watch me fail over and over again on this mission because I was right. We got to go collect one of these oil wagons. And I don't know how to do this without getting spotted and getting into a big god dang shootout. So I'm going to go to this waypoint here, and then I'm going to head up the hill, I think. Because I do believe I have a pair of binoculars. Let's get a good vantage point up here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I can see a lot of stuff from up here. Okay, now don't you dare leave me, because you've done it before. I swear, my horse has done it before where all of a sudden it's like, well, yeah, I'm just going to walk away and freaking leave you here all by yourself, and then you got to run down the hill. Stop it. Told you. Horse is trying to leave me alone. Okay, so you got one wagon there. And you got another wagon uh, right there. But you got all these dudes around. And it's like... I don't know their patrol style. There's this little wagon out here, but I don't think that's what I want. I think I want that one. I don't think I can blow those barrels up. Maybe I can chuck some dynamite over if I even have any. Um, Cause I know usually I just start a giant ass shootout and then I'm in trouble. Maybe I can. Let me see here. Oh, don't fall down the hill. <laughs> that would suck. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, see, there's guys all around. So if I. If I go up to there, I was thinking maybe I could sneak up on a guy and kill him with my knife or something, you know, but maybe I can run by and lasso the shit out of him. <laughs> there's like one guy right there, but there's dogs. I, you know what? I don't know. I'm just going to have to do this the fail way that I always do. I have to get on my horse. Probably going to have to eat some different yeah. foods to, um, Gain, you know, eat some different foods to gain a little bit of stamina and uh, whatever they call it. Although there's this campfire up here. I wonder what this is about. I'm going to check it out. Maybe it's somebody that can help me. Should I take the gang camp? Let's do it. I'm gonna take the gang camp. Just gonna freaking bowl them over here. Uh, I gotta have something that gives me a boost on all. There we go. That'll help. Trying this in the first person, see how good I am. Still not very good. <laughs> Gonna get close. Ah! 
Although it feels like they must have improved the graphics a little bit. Things are... What? Why? Oh, God. My health. Look at my health. I thought that thing I took was supposed to, like, bolster my health so I didn't have to worry about this. I am so bad at maintaining the health cores and everything. I just, I don't, I still to this day don't get what the point of them are. The point of them. What the point of all that is. Alright, I didn't see where this guy went. I'm gonna, there he is. That all of you. Shit. That was it? Okay. That, <laughs> that wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't that bad, I didn't think. Reload my gun here, put it back, loot a bunch of dudes, and uh, we'll see what they got for supplies. Never in a month of Sundays. That's your man, kill him! Uh oh, uh oh. Certainly, right as I'm doing this, of course you gotta pop up. Great camera angle. That it? You guys done? I thought that one was supposed to like help my core on the outside, but apparently not. Or my I, I don't know. I still don't get the health, man. I know I'm talking to myself when I say that, so saying man kinda sounds stupid, but I still don't understand the health system. Like, why do they have to make it so complicated? Just give me the normal health bars you got all the other times, and I'll be happy. If they ever do make a GTA 6, I am scared for how they're going to make it. Like, <laughs> you probably have three different things, three different meters that you have to pay attention to for your health, and it's going to be ridiculous. Potent health gear, there you go. No, I want to loot. Oh, he, I already did loot him. Okay. Well, let's see what else you got. Cocaine gum. Let's take some cocaine gum. Oh, I can't. Where are you at? There, we're going to take your cocaine gum. Oh, my hat. There it is. Better take my hat. Anyways, I'm going to keep looting this real quick, and then I will uh, get back at you when we go down the hill. All right, so it seems I looted everything I could up there, and by the, you know, by the sounds of it, they were about to do the same thing I'm about to do. I don't know, that was pretty interesting, the way they were talking there. Uh, let's check this out again. So, what I was saying before is that there's two guys here. There's this guy and this guy. Uh, there's dogs walking around on the inside. Uh, there's only one guy there, though. And I don't know if I can get to that fence and sneak around. I don't think I could. I think there's going to be people up there, too, but... And that dude, and there's a watch, couple watchmen up there. I think I'm just going to have to go in, guns blazing, and see what the hell happens. I would get on my horse. I know that's usually an advantage, but I'm so terrible at that. I'm better as an infantryman in any game. Any game. Doesn't matter. I'm better at being on my feet. You know, whether it's like Call of Duty or Battlefield or this. I'm better at being on the ground than I am. I just don't know how I should attack this. I want to make sure my horse is nearby, though, just in case. Oh, see? No, there's a guy there I didn't see. There's a guy right there. I saw this guy. I didn't see this guy. Dang it. Because for a second, I thought I could sneak around that fence, stab him in the back, get in, take the one that's, like, right here somewhere. Wait, now that guy moved. Those two guys moved. Shit, let's go. Let's go. 
I better get third person though or I'm gonna screw myself up. There's those two guys up there. No, no, no. Shh, 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 shh. Let's slow down. Oh, there's a guy right there though. Damn it! <laughs> shh, you're gonna give me away! Don't fucking move. <laughs> Goddamn horse. Started following me. Alright, let's try to take something that's gonna, you know, help my cores and whatnot. I don't know what that means when it's gold and it has a one next to it, or yellow, or whatever color that is. Like, what does that mean compared to that right there? Oh, that fully restores it. This fortifies it slightly. Fortifies it slightly. Okay, well. Give me something that fortifies it a lot. Do I have anything that fortifies it a lot? Nope. Alright, we're gonna take somebody else. Miracle tonic. No, stay there. How do I tell my horse to stay there besides going over to it and saying, shh, shh stay there. Because it's going to fall down here and it's going to cause a big problem. No, I don't want to shoot my horse. Get Get out of here. <laughs> You're going to get me discovered. Let's go back to my repeater. I wish this guy would move. Go take a break, dude. I don't think I've been this close without notifying anybody before. This is this is intense. Okay, dude, go on your break or something. Oh, there's a guy right there. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, he's coming up here. He's coming up here. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good. He just dropped his stuff off there. All right, we can do this. See, I think if I let that guy stay there and I just run up onto the ding. There's a guy there, too. Oh. Why can't Arthur lay flat? He should seriously be able to go prone. Horses. Let's go. Let's go. Get me out of here. I don't want to die. Now I'm going to get chased, though. Crap, 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 crap. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, my God. Going to die. Probably going to die. Yeah, you did. You just did miss. Can I hit him from that far away? Of course I can, the dead eye. Oh gosh. What if I had turned around and that was a clip? I'd have been so screwed. This is fast as you go, huh? Okay, normally I stick to roads, but... There's a rock. Watch out for that. Okay, here's a road. Stick to the road for a second. I think you can travel a little faster. People are investigating me. I think I got it. I think I got away with it. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Normally, I get just blasted in there. I get just blown to bits. And I've tried the mission a couple different times, and I just cannot do it. That's amazing to me. I feel proud. I feel so happy. 
so good at this game. <laughs> yes. Finally. Actually, I'm not. You know this. I know this. But hey, that's not what all the fun is about, right? Uh, where am I going here? Let me check out the map real quick. Oh, I should have gone up here. Okay. Yep. That's what... I oh, crap. <laughs> Man, my keyboard feels sensitive today. I did not mean to hit that button again. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> All right, slow them up. Slow them up there, horsies. Well, okay, a little faster than that. Oh, I'm supposed to put it right there, huh? How good's your uh, turning radius? Not that great, huh? Oh, gosh. Okay, this sucks. There's a stable up here? Cool. I gotta make a U-turn. Sorry, don't mean to, like, you know, get you all worked up. Just making a U-turn, folks. You know, kind of like if you're driving down the road and you realize you're going the wrong way and you pull into somebody's driveway and then you back out. Yeah, why don't you just bash your faces right into that? <laughs> And the people inside the house are probably like, who the hell's turning around in my driveway? All right. Well, let's see what happens here. I'm sure there's going to be fun stuff ahead. What do we do? Just park it up next to that burnt out building? I am... Wow. I'm still surprised I got away with it that easily. I thought getting out of there, I would just get torched. It's always kind of scary because they're shooting at this thing full of oil. And you don't know if it'll explode or not if they program that into the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he started to walk away. I only got a. Was that a bronze? Only got a bronze for that, huh? Oh, delivered? <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Once again, I don't go for those achievements. They just don't suit me. To sit there and try to fight through all that. I am going to explore this little burnt out building, though, because it seems like there might be stuff in here. And then we'll see what the next mission leads us to. That's, this is so awkward going in the first person. I still don't understand why they made him walk fast as could be in the first person. Oh, a card. There's an arrow. <laughs> well, we're going to take that. All right, let's check this out, and then we'll follow that arrow. I uh, can't take any canned vegetables. Can I take that apple or whatever that is? It's probably rotten. Rotten. Okay. Anything up on top? No. Can't take the canned vegetables. The arrow is pointing that way. Well, there is a dresser or an armoire. Wardrobe. A wardrobe. Not an armoire. Like, I know the difference between the two. <laughs> yeah, right. Um... That's it. That's all that was in there. Okay, well, let's walk this way and see. That arrow was pointing straight ahead. Is there something on the wall that I should be aware of? Well, I'm just going to keep looking. Search the drawer. Can I have the pair of gloves? Arthur could use some new gloves. Alright, hold on. Gotta smoke some premium cigarettes, otherwise I can't pick up the cigarettes. And there's usually a card within the cigarettes, so you gotta pick it up, right? There we go. Picking up some cigarettes. Don't smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Just let Arthur do it. <laughs> what have we got in here? Nothing. That's it. Nothing. Okay. 
I don't want to bash my knee on those, so I'm going to close them up. Yeah, close you up too. You know, that sucks if you hit your knee on an open drawer. Kind of like hitting it on a trailer hitch. Just sucks. Okay, what can I find over here? Inspect. There's something hidden. How did he know to look at that one? <laughs> He's like, yeah, there was an arrow. Where Was there an arrow on the ground or anything? No. There was just an arrow there pointing this direction, and he knew exactly to look at that rock in the wall. <laughs> okay, Arthur. Okay, well, we found a bunch of money. And we found some gloves that we can't wear. And now we got to go find uh, uh, find our horse. And figure out what the next mission is. I don't think I'll do the next mission today already, though. I'm already at like 40 minutes. So let's just take in the view real quick. See if I can't call my horse. Not again. <laughs> the horse is out of whistling range. Oh, fuck. Well, that means I'm not going to kill that deer. I was going to kill that deer and then get on my horse, but... Thought I heard a noise. Anyways. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit more subdued, but we had ourselves a little party, and we had ourselves a little bit of uh, some gang fights, and uh, stole a wagon, which is pretty cool. I... I... I'm still flabbergasted at my own performance there. I did what? The hell was that sound? Scream again so I can hear you. Someone help me! The fuck are you? Help! Help! The hell? I was trying to end my video, dude. What do you need? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I ain't gonna suck it out, I'll tell you that much. I need medicine! Or, or, or you need Drink to this. suck the middle It'll help. Yeah, I'm not sucking it out, here. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it uh, uh, out here. Well, don't no get bit more. by any more snakes, dude. Uh, just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Dude, Arthur, I already said that, okay? I already said it. Gosh. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this little episode. A little bit shorter than what I've been doing most of the time. Uh, but, you know, I got to trim them down somewhat. I feel like I've been making my videos way too long. Uh, if you like this, you know, follow me on all the other social media stuff. You know, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. I'll share some screenshots that I take. Like, look at this. Look at this rainfall. Here, let me... What's the button again? Alt. There we go. Alt. B. Look at this screenshot. Look at that beautiful picture just amazing I share stuff like that on Instagram I stream some games on Twitch I uh, tweet about gaming related stuff on Twitter and uh, yeah that sort of stuff so follow me on all the extra stuff and we'll have ourselves a great time where is my freaking horse I'm getting soaked <laughs>